Mwana pisare mafala inori mwe wa garenda yova. O se hangwe zote zina wite na zone. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. I love verse 2 that says, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all that he has done for you. Forget not all that he has done for you. You know we have tendencies of forgetting where God picked us from. And forgetting what God has done for you. Forgetting that if it was not by his grave, by his grace, we could have been in the grave. Or better still, we could have been in the mortuary this morning. But because of his grace, because of his grace, we are still here. So you and I, we still have an opportunity to praise and bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There comes a time in a person's life <clears throat> where it has nothing to do with who you are and your status and what you do and what you've accomplished. And it all has to do with God and what he has done for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember the battle between Goliath and David. If it was you and me, when we saw Goliath, I'm very sure we were going to run for our lives. Isn't it? Isn't it? But David, as young as he is, he remembered or he reminded himself where God picked him from. Where he comes with this God. What he went through with this God. What he has done with his God. And the Bible says he looked at Goliath and he said, how can this uncircumcised Philistine insult the armies of the living God? So why are you letting the devil intimidate you? And you allow your situation to insult the living God. Look, David, as young as he is, he could said, I met a bear. When I was tending my father's flock. And like a strong young man, I holded it by the jaw and I broke its neck. As if that is not in life. I met a lion. A lion, that one that roars and we all run for our lives. The one that if it appears here. Those two won't be the doors. Everywhere will be the door out because the lion has entered. David didn't turn around and started sobbing like we do these days. Now it's a bit where when we meet challenges, the first thing we do is to sob. And we quarrel and we 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 cry and we 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 complain and we we, we start comparing ourselves with other people. Remind yourself this morning where God picked you from. Remind yourself this morning. You found me when I was nothing. You made me something today. You found me when I was rejected. Some today I am somebody everybody runs to. You found me when there was nothing good about me. But today you've made me the chief cornerstone of my household. You found me when I didn't have a job. Today I have an office like everybody else. You found me when I was not worthy without qualifications. But today I dine with queens and kings in the tables of the honorables. Remind yourself where God picked you from. Remind, tell your neighbor, say, remind yourself where God picked you from. I told you on Wednesday, where you are is not the final bus stop. It's just, a, it's just a filling station for you to be filled and you pass to the next level. Hallelujah. 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 Tell your neighbor where you are is not the final bus stop. I, I know you might be sick today. But tell yourself, Isaiah says, by his stripes. I am healed. Yeah, I know you might be a nobody today. Tell yourself, the Bible says, I am not the tail, I am the head. 
Hey, today you must be facing challenges that you don't know how to go about it or get out. Remind yourself that no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper, Isaiah says. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready to praise the Lord, somebody? Are you ready to remind the devil in front of you what God has done for you? Make it your tendency. Yeah? Make it your everyday lifestyle. I might not have now, but it doesn't mean I won't have tomorrow. I heard yesterday, he supplies all my needs according to his glorious riches that are in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Do we know who we are in the Lord this morning? I am not going. Do you know who you are? Ask your neighbor and say, do you know who you are in the Lord? Ask your, tell your neighbor to answer you. Do they know who they are in the Lord? If you know who you are, I want you to clap your hands and make a Holy Ghost filled, a Holy Ghost filled noise. If you know where God took you from, Come on, lift up your voice and shout! <laughs>